guys, welcome again to the one coin only arcade challenge and as always we're on the journey to play every old school game from 1980 to 1999 and today is no exception, today we're playing Thunderblade, so we're going to set a credit, see how we can do off this one playthrough. Now this game is really really cool, you have full control of this ship, you can press uh, up to go back down the ground or up, uh, or sorry, down to come up, so it kind of works as an inverted flight controller which is really cool. You You've got a lot of motion and you can move around the screen as you like because you've also got a thrust button um, that allows you to speed up or slow down. And then you've got two shoot buttons. You've got this attack cannon and then you've got these missile missiles. I think you've got unlimited fire on both. Obviously, um, you can't rapid fire your missiles otherwise it'll make the game too easy. So, you just use them when you need to or at the opportune time, I suppose. Um, now, what's really cool about this game as well is it started off as um, a vertical shooter, but now we've got this really, really cool um, 3D element which, which adds to the gameplay experience. Um, every level is mixed up in a whole pile of different scenarios and it keeps um, things incredibly fresh and interesting. And, and the 3D graphics in this are really, really nice to look at too, guys. It's very much like a Space Harrier game or an OutRun game. Uh, it uses the same engine and um, you know, this was first seen by Space Harrier in 1985. Um, they've improved on how amazing this the games can look by 1987 when this game came out. And um, Sega really has taken advantage of this graphically. Um, even the ports that came out in Sega Master System and Sega Mega Drive don't compare to how amazing this arcade version looks. And um, what's the most important thing, I guess, guys, is the gameplay is just fun. You know, just much like a, a 1943 game or something, or uh, what's another what's another good shooter or alpha mission or something? You know, you've got these like attack bases that you've got to shoot down in order to advance to the next next level. That's pretty cool. They can be tedious and frustrating at times, but you know, in shooters, it's always nice to have a boss battle or a mother base to down just to have that extra sense of achievement if uh, shooting down drones or bogeys just by themselves isn't satisfying enough so here we go we've completed the first level and just so you know like those other games I've also mentioned you permanently um, earn a score even if you don't shoot down things um, so you you basically rewarded the whole way through um, for your survival which is pretty cool so back to another top-down vertical scrolling scene now I like how every level looks a lot different too. We start in the city, we're in some kind of canyon, desert, looks like the Grand Canyon. That's a 3D, this is cool. Oh nice, so we've got some kind of ruins here. You gotta be careful um, not to fly too close to the ground, otherwise you'll accidentally land your helicopter and the thrust will uh, no longer register. I just did notice that a couple times. But I mean, this is a couple things to look out for, but overall, even though there's a few things to do on the controls in order to operate the helicopter, it all feels incredibly comfortable, um, and I have no issues with the controls whatsoever. They're pleasant. See, I accidentally landed again. You do have to be careful. Much like Space Harriers, you can see there's like canyons and trees and just as many obstacles to avoid while you're shooting everything as well. So it's a real challenge. Oh damn, it looks like it looks like it's all over. Well thank you for joining us guys. That was Thunderblade. It's a fun game. If you like something like Space Harry, you're gonna love this. And uh, if you like what we do guys, please share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. We'll see you next time.